everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we're going to be checking out something a little bit different. This is the Ryobi screwdriver. This is 4 volts, 5 watt hours. It has uh, 200 on the low setting and 600 RPMs on the high setting. And it has 40 inch pounds of torque. Uh, it does something really cool here. It turns so you can actually make it into a screwdriver and turn it. Um, it goes back into the drill position here on the back right here this is your forward and your reverse and right on top you have two speeds you have number one speed which that is 600 rpms number two which is um, 200 rpms actually reverse that number one is 200 number two is 600 and you get 40 uh, inch pounds of torque with this and the part number for this is HP44LVN, which is pretty interesting. So the reason why I have this, and this is just a typical uh, bit change, so that's all you're going to have is just the quarter inch hex that goes inside it. It comes with two bits as well. But like I was saying, the reason why I have this is because we need something for, you know, really around the kitchen, something that my wife can use upstairs. And using the 18 volt uh, drills, they're pretty bulky. So I was using the Milwaukee 12 volts, and honestly, they're a little bit too bulky. We forget to charge them, and it's just not convenient. So with this, the battery's actually built into here, so you can't interchange the batteries, but you can charge it. It has a little bitty charging port in the back, so you can just keep this on charge, keep it in the drawer in the kitchen. It's really not going to cause you any issues, and it's pretty perfect, I think, for the size and just the... Um, ability to have around whenever you need it uh, but the big question is for me I'm just gonna hang some blinds and I want to make sure that it can actually drill the screws in that I need to I don't think it's gonna have an issue but uh, that's a quick little project so you know let's get into it that's a low let's put it on high Ooh. Pretty quick, huh? All right, we're just going to hang typical uh, brackets for the back here. Actually, I'm going to hang it from the top. These are typical drywall screws. I find these great for hanging blinds and uh, things alike, curtains, and it's just inch and a quarter typical drywall screws. Hey, you know what? It drilled that without any issue at all. And I had that on two, so that's the least torquey version of this. I bet if I put it on one, it could do more, but you know what? That's a really good question. Let's see how much this can actually do. Let's take it to the shop and put it to the test. Okay, so we're back in the shop, and I wanted to do a fun little test with this to see actually how strong it is, and to see if this is something that's more than just like a typical little screwdriver that you would use or keep in your kitchen. Um, or maybe it'll surprise us all. So what I've come up with is I'm going to use this 4x4 pressure treated pine wood. I'm going to use a 2 inch, a 2 and a half inch, and a 3 inch coarse screw and I'm going to see if I can drive them all the way down into here. This time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to start it with a 3 inch first to give it as much power as it possibly can and give it the best chance to actually get down into the wood this is still fully charged and just to let everybody know this is a four volt and it's got 40 inch pounds of torque let's give it a shot okay i'm going forward speed one Hey, I'm surprised it actually did it. It struggled, it struggled, but it did it. Just for fun, let's try the two and a half inch on the number two setting. No, that's not working. Let's back it out just a little bit. All right, we'll give the one setting a run. At least give it a little bit of a help here. Oh, going the wrong way.
No. All right, let's try the small one here. Okay. All right, so, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting much. I'm actually pretty surprised it drove in the three inch core screw into this four, uh, pressure treated four by four. Uh, you know, with that being said, it took most of all of the battery just to drive that one screw in. I did get the two inch screw all the way in, which was surprising, you know, with a little bit of wrist help and it did not get the two and a half inch screw in. So in terms of power, I am really surprised, but I'm not surprised about the battery and that the battery didn't last that long. I would say for something that you're gonna keep in your kitchen or keep just really handy around for you know whoever is uh, you know gonna use it out there, it's perfect. You, you have it uh, just in your you know, drawer or kitchen or something, you can charge it up really quick. You don't have to store external batteries or anything with it. Uh, nice little assembly screwdriver, if you will, as well. Uh, so, you know what? I think it's worth it at the end of the day for 35 bucks. You're not going to go too wrong with it. Um, also, something I failed to mention, this actually has rubber overmolding here. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and wait just a minute you can go buy merch now. Check out the link below. We got stickers, hats, shirts, all that good stuff. I hope to see you next time. <laughs>